All right, the, uh, the front cover has already been removed. I'm going to remove the front wear pads. And I will remove the rotors. The tools we're gonna need to do this, uh, we've got two screwdrivers, a seal removal tool, a rubber mallet, and a seal installer. So I'm going to start by removing the O-ring retainer. So you want to insert, insert the two pins into the slots in the O-ring retainer. Turn it about a quarter inch clockwise. And That will remove it. Another way to get the O-ring retainer out, if uh, your seal removal tool is unavailable, is to use two flathead screwdrivers going in from the back side of the rotor housing. There are two flathead screwdrivers into the back side of the rotor housing. And lightly push outward, and that will bring the o ring seal forward. I'll pull my o ring seal cartridge out. Generally, the shaft sleeve will come out with it, you just push it out. Um, if you need to, you can use a rubber mallet. Basically all there is to uh, breaking one of these down uh, for O-ring maintenance and uh, sanitation. Going back in with the shaft sleeve, you're going to want to put some FDA grease around your O-rings inside on, on both sides and also around uh, the shaft where the O-rings are going to have contact. There's two grooves on the shaft sleeve and there are two alignment pins in the shaft uh, behind the rotor housing that these will have to line up to. And you get your alignment, line the grooves up with the pins. And they should just push right in. Uh, you'll want to put your FDA grease on the inside O-rings, on the O-ring seal retainer, as well as on the outside. Uh, the alignment slots will need to line up. There's four grooves back here for the uh, retainer ring, for the O-ring seal retainer. You make sure they're lined up so everything will go in as it should. Just get it started. And uh, use your seal installer and a rubber mallet. And uh, give it a couple taps and your o-ring seal is in and ready to go and uh, ready to install the rotors and the front cover. Now we're going to install our rotor. You're going to want to line up with the groove that's on the spline on the shaft. Make sure everything's level when you're going in and it will just slide right in that easy. You take your front wear pads, they go on like so, 
and uh, you install, reinstall your O-ring for the front cover and put the front cover on and you're ready to run.